How many roads must a donkey walk down before you can call him a man? A donkey. A donkey is mentioned many times in the Bible, including in today's reading. And the sages say a, a donkey represents that which is physical, the material stuff of life. So yes, we human beings, we have a little bit of a donkey inside of us, but we also have a spiritual side. We live a life in a sort of battlefield, but it's a beautiful battlefield. How to navigate life? Well, some people take that physical part and they say, I'm not going to let it overwhelm me. And so they push it, they push it away from themselves. They don't let it define who they are. We see this oftentimes in people with substance addiction problems, drug problems, people involved with toxic relationships. They have to eliminate it from their lives. But there's another approach, another road, and that's when we get connected to that which is positive in our lives so much. We take advantage of our gifts and our strengths and we focus there so much that the toxic, the negative elements don't even have the opportunity to emerge. And then there's even another road we can take. The road where we take the obstacles, the setbacks in our life, we take that energy and we convert it. We convert it into positivity. So negative actually becomes positive. In fact, they say that in the messianic times, that the Messiah will be riding on a donkey because then the whole world, the consciousness of the whole world will be that where spirituality and godliness is ever so palpable. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. You know, Bob Dylan, who wrote that song, was certainly a great songwriter and poet. But I submit that blowing in the wind is a bit of a random approach to life. Instead, I think we'd be better off approaching life with intent and with mindfulness. And we take all the setbacks of life and we convert them into positivity and beauty.